Hi and welcome to a new tutorial in all of this kind of window. In this tutorial, I will teach you how you can make a basic assembly with this engine. Uh, as you can see here, we have components we did earlier. Then, uh, in this location, I just add a component pattern to make the same thing in this location. I will hide this and you can see if I turn this crankshaft a nice movement of the engine. Then that's, that is the final result uh, in this episode. Let's uh, let's start the assembly, but before 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 to do this, uh, I will add this uh, component, and I will uh, I will edit this crankshaft because we have nearer here. Let's start by I will close this start new file create start by this um, plan go to circle start from here uh, let's put the diameter of uh, 85 okay um, then I will use the offset with 0 0.5 uh, many people asking me uh, to give him um, 2D plans but I can do that because I don't have any 2D plans uh, let's put here 118 you have just to see my tutorials and you can do uh, whatever you want with the 2D, 2D plans okay let's put here 90 then project this one with this I want to see that is just the diameter of this. Yes, it's okay. Finish your sketch and go to extrude. Extrude this with two millimeter. Uh, then you can choose here brass. If you brass of the yellow and save it. Save valve zero one. Then open up your no. I will edit it in the assembly. Here you can uh, click in new as new assembly. Then <coughs> excuse me. Then place it cylinder block. Place it here then uh, switch shadow with edge here you can block this because you can um, you can move it if you want to move it is just put it grounded now I can't move it now click in place and place all of uh, these earlier component 
we did so far uh, you want if you want to click another here to put another crankshaft you can but uh, in the engine we have one crankshaft okay the same thing go to connecting road assembly of the connecting road not the connecting road we put two of them the same thing for the piston put two of them the last thing to add is the three valve zero point one. Now I told you we have uh, nearer here. The solution is to open it. Then look for this feature. I think it's this one. Then click edit sketch. We have 20 here, but I have to delete this. Okay, then click and drag this one to this position. Okay, this position. I think it's okay. Then uh, let's finish the sketch. And the sketch is uploaded automatically. Okay. Save it. Then go to your assembly. Where is the assembly? Connecting the road. Mm, this is the assembly. Mm, let's start by this and this. Go to constraint. Select this axis with this axis. Click apply. You can move this. And click one. Start by. Start by this. Mm, and uh, and this click apply then you can hide this what's going on here I don't know where is it then let's let's go to constraint again start from here and this okay this one and this okay you can move it like that okay And click cancel and return all of these like that and show the the cylinder block visibility as you can see here we have near but I have to switch this to this position and this one to this position because as you can see this is this it's in the middle of this hole now let's uh, put the um, the pistons between this hole and this then between this one and this one click apply the same thing to this piston between this axis and uh, this axis click apply between this and this 
the fine uh, the final step is to add the the sleeve valves switch the direction the problem here select this and this click apply and between this face and this face switch the direction click apply that's the final that's the final step no we have another final step like I say to you if you make visibility then change here I don't know what's this problem come from then uh, if you if you select this you can return and we have the result okay of the movement of this engine but if you want to add the same thing here as you can see we have the same um, distance the same radius here then select all of these distance then go to where is the feature is the pattern key okay. then select uh, regular column then select this direction put here uh, what we can put here 550 I think it's right no yes it's right here then click apply if you turn here we have the same movement in the other side then the exercise for you is to add the same thing and do the same uh, steps to add here and here then use component pattern to add it in the right position okay now I will uh, show this mm, visibility and I will tell you uh, to thank you for watching then see you next tutorial if you have any question don't hesitate to post it if you like you can subscribe to my channel and share my video uh, that's aid me to explain to you more things and uh, I am very busy these days because I have many exams and uh, courses in the school and uh, if I have any any times to explain to you and uh, add another episodes, I will do it. Uh, I will do it. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you in the tutorial.